Mars. Is it hot? Is it cold? Does it rain? Does it snow? These are some of the burning questions surrounding the red planet. But the mystery of the weather on Mars is actually quite clear. Mars, we know, used to be very much wetter and probably warmer. It used to have standing bodies of liquid water, flowing rivers. Uh, there's even evidence that there used to be rainfall on Mars. Today's climate is much drier. It's drier and much colder. Studying the weather history of Mars has revealed some similarities to Earth. So in some ways, Mars' weather actually does resemble the Earth in that we have things like tornadoes, big storm fronts, high winds, in the same way that the poles of the Earth are cold and the equator is warm. Similar thing on Mars, but Mars is really a different environment. So whereas here on Earth we have this nice oxygen-rich atmosphere that allows us all to freeze, um, on Mars the atmosphere is not only almost completely carbon dioxide, it's very, very, very thin. While the red planet is uninhabited, there are some unique weather phenomenon. Routinely, Mars has uh, regional dust storms, which would be sort of continental scale if they were on Earth. Um, and every few Mars years, some of those regional storms just explode and end up going to be a, a global dust storm, and they envelop the entire planet in a thick layer of dust. They also create smaller storms and these tornadoes and dust devils as well. And one of the coolest things is that you can actually look up pictures of these dust devils that have been taken by Mars orbiting missions. And you can see them uh, actually like tracing their path along Mars, um, casting a shadow in some, in some cases. As future NASA missions continue to study the red planet, the Mars weather will be less foreign. The Mars Environmental Dynamics Analyzer, or META, is a surface weather station that will fly on the Perseverance rover and it will measure the pressure, temperature, uh, relative humidity, and wind speed and direction, as well as be able to monitor the dust amount, and in fact, be able to even tell us something about the dust particle sizes on Mars. 